Hello everyone. Previously, we have showed the advantage of using the HCA calculator in your selection process. In this video, we will show the limitations of the HCA tool as a basis because it gathers average figures. We will be comparing two diamonds in this tutorial, a Jan Paul Super Ideal Cut Diamond and a GIA Common Cut Diamond, both with low HCA scores. The GIA Certified Common Cut Diamond is a 1.01 carat GVS2 Triple Excellent Round Diamond. If you enter these figures into the HCA calculator, you will receive a score of 1.7. However, the values provided in the certificate are only average values, hence the HCA calculator should only be used as an indicative measure. The first comparison will be under Controlled Spotlight Analysis. Here you can see that although the GIA Common Diamond has a HCA score of 1.7, there is irregular light return, and the arrows within are not as defined as Jen Paul's signature super ideal cut diamond on the left. Even though there are good amounts of reds and light return as seen in the ASAT scope, the common round diamond on the right is less symmetrical, causing the diamond not to perform to its optimum even though it has a HCA score below 2. Therefore, the use of scopes to look at symmetry is important. The next test will be for fire and scintillation under LED light. The diamonds are moved back and forth on a GIA diamond dock. Here you can clearly see how bright the Jan Paul Signature Super Ideal Cut Diamond is with more consistency in fire performance. The diamond appears bigger and brighter. Likewise, there are more hot spots within Jan Paul's Signature Super Ideal Cut Diamond seen as little dots on the outer diameter within the diamond. Fluorescent light testing is to show contrast patterning. Here, under fluorescent light, the contrast patterning is again more obvious and defined in Jan Paul's signature Super Ideal Cut Diamond, even though both diamonds have low HCA score. Following this next section, we will look at Jan Paul's signature round diamonds and the individual diamonds A set scope analysis. The first is Jan Paul's signature Super Ideal. Looking at the A set scope, the red parts signify light return, which give the diamond sparkle. The blue parts, or arrows, are reflectors of light and at certain angles give bold flashes. The green parts of the diamond from the A-set scope at lower angles of light give small amounts of dispersion, contributing to the diamond's scintillation. Next is our beautiful solar sphere diamond with 10 hearts and 10 arrows with 91 facets. Due to the additional facets of the solar sphere, there is extreme light return giving higher amounts of dispersion as seen in the red parts from the A-set scope. With more arrows as indicated in the blue parts of the diamond, the solar sphere has more light reflectors within. With hardly any light leakage, the solar sphere is one of the most scintillating diamonds in the market as illustrated in the green parts of the ASET scope. Last but not least is Jan Paul's Brilliant Lady 21 with 221 facets. This diamond is a good illustration how modified round diamonds should perform. As seen from the ASET scope, the red parts show good light return and the blue parts act as reflectors. Likewise, the green parts in the circumference add to the light dispersion of the diamond. The Brilliant Lady is such a desirable cut because of the meteorite light sparkling effect that is produced. When we look at the fire and scintillation comparison of the three diamonds side by side, we can see how these three cuts have a unique effect. The Super Ideal Cut produces bigger boulder flashes with eight hearts and arrows. The Solar Sphera in the center produces smaller and more intensive flashes with 10 hearts and arrows. 
and the Brilliant Lady 21 produces enthusiastic bursts of flashes with an amazing 221 facets. Once again, under fluorescent light, the red sections give the diamonds a brightness effect and the blue sections act as reflectors creating contrast. And finally, the green sections are the grey parts in the diamonds which add to the contrast effect within. From this analysis, we would like to stress that the HCA calculator is an important tool but not a decision-making factor that one should use in purchasing a diamond. We would always encourage usage of the ASET scope to analyse a diamond's performance. Thank you.